Hello, my name is John Dickey. I am Vice President of Engineering and co-founder of Tolari Networks. I'd like to thank you for watching this video. Today, I wish to demonstrate for you Tolari's Adaptive Private Network solution. In this, we will show how Tolari can provide more bandwidth at lower cost with much greater resiliency than typical corporate enterprise wide area network solutions. In today's demonstration, we will have two offices that we're talking to each other. One office is a remote office that has attached to it an MPLS link at a T1, which is one and a half megabits, in a symmetric way. We also have a commodity price cable link, which is two megabits up, eight megabits down. We'll also have a DSL link, which is three megabits down and one megabit up. In this demonstration, we are introducing some error on these networks. Um, we have 55 milliseconds round trip time um, on the MPLS network. And on the internet, we have introduced a, you know, half of 1% of loss with a decent amount of jitter. Um, at the data center, we have a Tolari T750. At the remote office, we have T730s. The T750s um, are attached to a Metro Ethernet network, which is 20 megabits full duplex, and an MPLS network that is bonded three T1s, so it's four and a half megabits each direction. The applications that we're running across this network are some bulk file sharing and transfers. Um, we are also providing a voice over IP service, uh, of which we have some music playing through it uh, for our audio test. We are also serving up um, a video server um, to the remote client office. Now, currently, I have the Tolari service disabled. Um, so we can actually observe the network in its natural state. We are throwing a lot of traffic through it at this time, and that is definitely stressing the network. So let's see how stressed it is. I'm going to turn off the audio for the phone call that we're actually streaming right now. Now, I'm going to go and show you a little bit what the video looks like right now. Now, there is no QoS on this network, but it probably should be. And then, actually, I'm waving my hand in front of the video. I'm going to try. Oh, there it goes. And you can see it's definitely, it's so laggy, it's not even refreshing at all. There is my hand, and not very good. I actually move much faster than that. Okay. Uh, we're also sending bulk traffic across the network, um, as you can see from this graph. It's extremely erratic. Um, you can see uh, sometimes for periods of time it looks almost nothing. We're way overusing that MPLS link that's sitting there right now. Um, nothing um, extraordinary here. We are, you know, introducing some latency, but there's no loss on that MPLS link. It's just there's not enough bandwidth to serve the applications that are trying to use it. Well, well that's your network. Now let's see what your network looks like when it's on Tolari. So I'm going to enable these services, and let's see if things improve a bit. And just so we can have a little more timely update, I'm going to put on the CLI. So right now, the network is actually up and running. We still have the same load of traffic. We still have um, the same loss that we've introduced. As you can even see from these stats here, the loss is still in the network. But we are doing um, well, what Tolari does, which is constantly monitoring the network, adapting to errors and latency changes and jitter. And, um, when needed, recover from uh, packet loss. From that music, you can hear that the voice sounds a heck of a lot better than it did before. Um, let's see if I can actually see my hand move this sound. Yep, there it goes. And you can see our bandwidth is uh, well, still recovering a little bit from the pain from before, but definitely we have a lot more consistent transfer of traffic. Now, it's bulk traffic, so it's quality services set up to make bulk traffic less of a priority so the video and voice are much higher served. Now what I'm going to do is break it. So I'm going to go to this remote office and I'm going to pull out this high-priced MPLS link. And let's see what happens to the network when we do this. So now I'm reaching my hand in and there's the MPLS link, which we paid a lot for. And that MPLS link has now been pulled. Let's see how the audio sounds. Still sounds pretty good. But we can see the Tolari pretty much immediately identified that there was a problem on that MPLS link, and it took the link offline. 
but we are still transferring the bulk traffic, less though than we did before by, well, approximately one and a half megabits. And we are transferring the video, which seems smooth, and there is no jitter. And the voice sounds good. So I'm going to put that MPLS link back in. The MPLS link is back in. The Tolari will take a minute, well, actually seconds, but it will determine that the link is no longer suspect, bring them back online, and then you'll see our bulk rate go up. But again, the video was never adversely affected. Why don't we go off and hurt a little bit more? Let's take out one of the bigger links. Let's take out that eight megabit cable link. I'm gonna pull this out. Now, as you can see from the video, it had no effect almost at all. And the voice continues to run clean. But we definitely did detect that we had problems at that remote office in the cable link. Well, okay, so now we've lost one link or the other. Well, that shows we can stand on two legs if we have three. I'm going to put this cable link back in, and we're just going to see the Tulare will continue to probe it until it detects that it's back up and running. And then, once it's back online, we'll see our bulk transfers increase quite a bit. Why don't we pull a couple links and see if the network can run still. So here we have the video. I'm going to pull that high-priced MPLS link again. The MPLS link is now out. Let's go pull that DSL link too. Let's add insult to injury. So now I pulled out two of the three links. Let's see how we're doing here. As you can see, the bulk transfers have been dramatically affected, but they're still, they still exist. We've detected that the network is two thirds down, but we're still processing. The video still runs. The voice is still there. The Tulare solution is eagerly awaiting that, that bandwidth to come back available. So now, what happens if we pull all the links? Well, I suspect it won't, won't go well. So I'm going to reach in here, and I'm going to pull this last link. Now, what you'll see is that this video will freeze as soon as I grab that cable. You will no longer hear the voice, and you'll see whatever bulk transfers we have here will go to nil. Three, two, one, I pull the link. As you can see, everything here is dead. Now I'm going to put it back in. Let's see what damage I did. The video actually did recover from that. Much faster than it would have if I didn't have us trying to correct for the errors. I'm going to add the MPLS back in, and I'm going to add the DSL back in. So, and the network is detecting it and healing it, and now everything is good. You can see the bulk transfers continue to go. The video continues to move, and the voice, well, is no worse for wear. Again, I'd like to thank you for watching this video today. In this video, we demonstrated how Tolari can use both commodity and private networks in combination to provide higher bandwidth, better quality of service, more resiliency, potentially at lower cost. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and I look forward to talking to you again in future videos.